Hey guys, so I've been playing around with this trap base for a couple of weeks. Uh, the original mechanic was found on Casey Moe's build channel. The, the link will be in the description. And uh, it's worked out quite well. Uh, it's pretty easy to build, but uh, we're going to start it out with a little starter base. Just a little one by with the airlock. Okay, and then we're gonna put the TC in, or yeah, put the TC in. We'll place down one box. And at this time, we're gonna throw down the medium battery. You don't need it at this time, but uh, we'll get it beforehand. And just throw down a bag. So you can live out of this uh, little one by while you collect all the stuff to make the uh, to make the rest of the base. And the reason we're putting the battery in now is because we're going to start charging it while we're building. doesn't take a lot to uh, charge it up as much as you need I just wanted to show you so we'll close this off and then we'll get out and build the rest of the base here the rest of it's quite simple it's just going to be two more squares with triangles in front of all of it We're going to leave this wide open and then this doorway. We're just going to put a door on it for now, just while we're building up. And finally, we're just going to put a door frame and we're going to leave this twig. Now, the reason we're going to leave it twig is because if someone does get to lock the double door on you, you want to be able just to knock it down quickly. And we'll put up a, uh, the lore, which will be over here. Put the double door so it opens outward and then we're going to put the lock on it but we're not going to lock it now we'll place some shotgun traps uh, i would suggest four to five shotgun traps uh, or three to four would be fine i guess but uh, the more the merrier first one sort of tilted over this way this one here here and here you want to make sure that you can get in and out this way and just for good measure we'll throw another one right up here okay load them all up there now, 
the idea behind this is when they come in, the store won't be here. Here, we'll just take it out of the way now. You're going to come up. They'll see the uh, lock hasn't been locked. They'll come in and go to do it. it with Casey Mo's version, you'd be sitting in there. When they close it and come in to change the lock, you just open the door and the shotgun traps will take them out. Now, what I did was just automated it by placing an HPHF sensor right here and placing a door controller there. Very simple to wire up. It's going to be a direct wiring. Yeah, we've got a couple hundred in there, that'll be fine. So, from the power out, I'm just going to go over to the HPHF sensor into the power in on the HPHF. And then from the power out of the HPHF directly into the door controller. Exclude authorized. Just so when we come in and out it won't trigger it. And that's actually the whole build. Uh, let me show you with just a couple hundred uh, power, you can see this will now run for almost three hours. So you can charge it up more, you know, whenever you like, but you don't really need a lot to run this very simple circuit. Okay, so I'm gonna take myself off the TC and I'll show you what happens. So they're gonna come in they're looking, they see that that's unlocked, they can see the box inside, close the door, they come in, and that's it. It's a very simple, easy to throw together. It, uh, actually make sure on this. Oh, and as you can see, the uh, upkeep is very low. And if you don't have the battery, the HPHF, and the door controller, you can always use it manually until you actually do get them. And this uh, trap was actually a lot of fun to play with. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you use it, just uh, throw it up in the Discord so we can all see you using it. And uh, subscribe below. Also, don't forget to visit Casey Moe's uh, build channel. He's got some great ideas for traps on there. Okay, thanks guys.